All right, this is going to be a mini lesson on the idea of tons, converting things to tons, which do give kids tons of problems sometimes. And so I'm going to try to make this a little bit easier for you today. First of all, you need to know that there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. For some reason, kids just have a hard time with that and they want to make it like a thousand or something. And even when they go to convert it, if they know it's 2,000, they get all those zeros mixed up and it becomes a big mess. So here's how you do two different kinds of problems that involve tons. First one says 25,785 pounds is equal to how many tons, how many pounds? Well, the first thing we got to do is decide, do I want to have these numbers here bigger or smaller than that number there? Well, 2,000, see this is 2,000 over here, 2,000 pounds equals one ton. So we're going from a bigger number to a smaller number when we convert into tons. So I want this number to get smaller. When I convert things, I either multiply or I divide. Now to get an answer that's smaller, do I want to multiply or divide? I want to divide to get a smaller answer. So I'm going to take the number 25,000 785 and I'm going to divide it by my conversion rate. In this case it's 2,000 because there are 2,000 pounds in a ton. Now don't try to do this as 25 divided by 2 or something like that. You can do it that way but I really want you to show the entire step, the entire process here. So let's do it the full number divided by 2,000. Okay, <clears throat> now how many times does 2,000 go into the number 2? It does not go into the number 2. This is where some gets, kids get confused. Does the number 2,000 go into the number 25? No, it doesn't. Does the number 2,000 go into the number 257? No, it doesn't. That's still too small. Does the number 2,000 go into 2,578? Yes, it does. How many times does 2,000 go? You just ignore this number right over here. Just ignore the 5. How many times does 2,000 go into 2,578? It goes in one time. 1 times 2,000 is 2,000. This is how you need to do your problem real carefully. Then you subtract and get 578 and you bring down the 5. Now, how many times does 2,000 go into 5,785? Let's count by 2,000s. 2,000, 4,000, 6,000. 6, 6,000 Oops, 6, is too big. So it goes in 2 times. What's 2 times 2,000? That's equal to 4,000. Subtract and get 1,785. Now, what am I going to do with that remainder? 1,000. That's how many pounds are left over after I put these pounds into tons. So the answer would be 12 tons, 1,785 pounds. <clears throat> That's how you do that first problem. Okay, the next one's very similar to that. A bus weighs between 5,000 and 7,000 pounds. Estimate how many tons 12 buses would weigh. Well, if the buses weigh between 5,000 and 7,000, that would put them at about 6,000 because the number 6,000 comes perfectly in between 5,000 and 7,000. So I'm going to take the number 6,000 and uh, I'm going to see how many 12 buses weigh. So I'm going to put the number 12 here. Notice I'm not doing 6 times 12, I'm doing 6,000 times 12. Now when I multiply a number with a bunch of zeros on the end, all I have to do is copy those zeros down. I got three zeros here, three zeros here. Then I multiply six times 12, which is 72, right? Six times two is 12, carry the one. Six times one is six, plus one is seven. So I got 72,000 for my answer. But the question says, how many tons do 12 buses weigh? That means I have to convert these pounds into tons. And I'm dividing by the number 2,000. How many 2,000s are there in 7? None. In 72? None. In 720? None. In 7,200? Hmm. Well, 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, that's too big. So I'd have 3 right there, which makes 6,000. Subtract and get 1, 2, 0, 0. Bring down the 0. Now I have 12,000. How many 2,000s are in 12,000? 2 times 6 is 12, so 
6 times 2,000 is 12,000. Subtract, and we don't get a rem as we get no remainder. So the answer here is 36 tons. 36 tons. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, they hopefully these kinds of problems won't give you a ton of trouble anymore.